Let's see. Testing, testing. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, oh my gosh, people are trickling in. Oh my gosh, hello. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Hello, hello, testing. Audio good? My same old, same old as usual. We're so back. Yes. <laughs> We're so back. Yeah. <laughs> the stream is up. Let's get it, everyone. Woo. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks for being patient. <laughs> okay. And let's see. Yes! Everyone's coming back. Thank you so much for believing in me. Oh my goodness. I fixed it. I fixed OBS. And then, are you proud of me? <laughs> but yeah, we're so back. We're so back. <laughs> so, yeah, how's everyone doing? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, we're so back. So back. And I bet you guys are so ready. I bet you guys are so ready to do fabric stuff. <laughs> this is the first. Okay, I gotta. I gotta let our mods know that I fixed it. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's dark. Yeah, so for those of you who are just coming in. We had technical difficulties, so thank you for being patient. <laughs> yeah, thanks for joining. So let's see. Now I'm just like double, triple checking everything. If yeah, <laughs> hello, hello, Eve. Yeah, let's get it. We're so back. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'll be honest, I kind of want to pop off a little bit, because I fixed it. I'm a big boy, and I fixed the big boy problem. And, yeah, we'll, we'll be a little bit late. <laughs> I guess we're gonna, we're gonna start late, but we're also gonna end late. So, uh, yeah, again, thank you. So, hmm, <clears throat> yeah, let me, let me reset, let me reset. <laughs> this got it fixed. But, yeah. Ooh, how old am I? Old enough. <laughs> That's all I'll say. But, yeah, welcome everyone to the stream. I guess without further ado, I'll just start. I'll just start it instead of doing my preamble. You know, like, today, uh, we're... Oh, let's see, my, my notes are loading up. There you go. So, the topic of today's stream is fabric patterns, right? So today we're... We're gonna learn all about them, and I want to teach you guys some tips and tricks on how to add patterns to your drawings, mostly digital. So, well, mostly digital uh, tips. <laughs> so, but don't worry, this will still work with traditional, you know, as usual. But yeah, and I'm trying to think. Yeah, what won the poll actually? So what won the poll was embroidery and patches. So look forward to it. You know, look forward to drawing embroidery and patches. We'll be doing like a fun design at the end. But yeah, let me let me breathe. Because <laughs> that was a struggle and a half, I gotta say. Yeah, you struggle so much with clothing. Well, say less. You know, we'll we'll be doing some patterns today, and it'll be really fun. But yeah, before we begin. You know, I want to take the time again since I see people trickling in to welcome people in to the stream. But uh, in case you guys didn't know, our growing community is filled with tons of art nerds, and we art nerds have to stick together. Uh, we art nerds have to, or we artists have to stick together. And if you're an art nerd too, be sure to check out our links to the social media in, our, in the description below, and check out our website for class offerings where you can get critique guidance and encouragement from our instructors like me because we're not just a youtube channel we're an art school too if you'd like to support us so we can keep making free content 
consider supporting us by becoming a YouTube member for exclusive channel perks like emotes and sub badges or supporting us on Patreon for as little as $2 per month where you can get tons of access to works, to perks like my working files, geek sessions, class recordings, and a huge discount on our classes that have a limited amount of spots, so be sure to check those out before they're gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I wanted I also wanted to say thanks to the VODs, you know, thanks to Eve, thanks to Shield, Adaria. Oh my gosh. You guys have been a big help because, you know, sometimes being just there helps so much, not being alone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still I'm still like glad that I got the stream to work. Did it. Yes. <laughs> but, uh, hmm, I'm trying to think. Yeah, maybe, you know what, before we begin, you know, I still need to calm down, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but, uh, we, uh, we can take a look at some of the art case, or <laughs> the art case, showcase of art, you know, that was posted in our wonderful Discord, wonderful, wonderful Discord, drawn by our wonderful, wonderful audience. So yeah, and I'm trying to remember this month's theme. It's slipping my mind right now. Uh, let me see. Art challenges. What was the art challenge for this month? It was spooky season. That's right. Yeah, and let's see. Am I late again? No, <laughs> actually, I'm the one who's late. So yeah, one of the rare occurrences where I'm late. But yeah, I wanted to showcase this artwork based on the spooky season. This is by SR, by Senior. I don't know, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. Or S.AR, SR. <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much. And they had little notes actually. So they said that this is a Halloween illustration of their friends OCs and theirs. So I'm not quite sure which one is theirs, uh, which one is his, and which one is his friends but yeah this is wonderful i really like the anime aesthetic and like the designs of the characters themselves are pretty pretty nice you know i love the transparency the transparency and like the ghostly vibe it's really nice and the character on the left you know i like i like the witch outfit and the boots and straps classic yeah and then, yeah, everything kind of works. E everything works really nicely in this photo. But yeah, if I do have like a suggestion, I think you shouldn't split up happy like that, like a big split. But it's still good though. But I'm trying to think. Hmm. I also love. I just noticed like the little skulls in the background. There's so much like rendering and detail to this one. But yeah, what did chat think? Pretty nice, right? <laughs> and dude, let me just fix the chat. There you go. Sometimes it stops loading. Yes, thank you, Kevin. Yeah, thank you, Kevin, for the help too. <laughs> thank you, Daria. <laughs> thank you, bods. But <clears throat> anyway, let's <laughs> let's move on. Thank you for submitting. Yeah, so this one is by LilyX971. Yeah, this is her OC, and she says that uh, this character is a mix between a zombie and a demon, I think. I was just having fun drawing them. Yeah, very cute. And I always love I always love the glowy effects. That's one of my favorite things to do in digital art. So yeah, it's very very nice. <laughs> I love the I love the proportion and like the expression. Very good. It's it gives him lots of uh, personality. It makes him super expressive. Yeah, the lighting, definitely. Nice pink glow from his hand. And hmm, I also like his jacket. You know, like a little bone jacket. <laughs> yeah, very dripped out. And yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thanks so much, Lily. Yeah, and then 
last but not least, so we have we have Spittle right here. This is Spittle's artwork, and yeah, this is Bloodborne fan art actually. I'm pretty sure because uh, his only caption is "One Reborn, dude." <laughs> so yeah, thank you for submitting, and. I love Bloodborne, and I remember this boss a lot. The One Reborn is like this goopy goop of people, goopy amalgamation of all these people, and doesn't get any spookier than that, you know? And I like the sketchy effect, you know, the sketchy effect of this drawing. It's, it's really nice. <laughs> it's, hmm, how do I put it? Like, the sketchy vibe adds a lot, you know? It gives me the vibe that somebody witnessed, you know, the one we're born, and then they just sketched it, you know, after after they saw it. That sort of vibe. That's pretty cool. Pretty spooky. Yeah, it is awesome. <laughs> well, yeah. You will random drawings. You just have to work at it. You will have skills like that. Someday. Because I used to be like that and sometimes i still am like that you know i look at a drawing and i'm like man i wish i had that <laughs> but you will work at it keep at it yes thank you for thank you everyone for submitting and hopefully you guys come to discord and submit some of your own work you might get featured on here yeah thank you a million there we go. Yeah. I gotta say, this time, okay, I finally calmed down. <laughs> <laughs> and finally we can you get to the fabric stuff. And I know this is probably like the loudest I've been on stream. Because yeah, I'm pretty happy that I fixed it. <laughs> uh, but yes, fabric patterns. Okay, so... I, I'm mainly focusing on fabric patterns here. So like, imagine putting flannel designs on, on like clothing, that sort of thing, and how it interacts with folds, basically. So let me write down, let me write down some notes. Fabric patterns. Yeah, there are a million different patterns that you could do. For fabric patterns right but i want to give you guys a good uh, good selection basically to help out with any any fabric pattern your heart desires so number one thing to remember or the two things really that you need to remember for fabric patterns is the form and the shading so the form is super important because is your fabric pattern flat? Is it uh, something that's sticking out? You know, kind of like an embossed design? Or, yeah, it's more important. Also, it's important to remember, like, the shape of the surface of what it's on. Yeah, I'm doing great. <laughs> Thank you so much. It means a lot when you tell me I'm doing great. Hmm. <laughs> but anyway. Also, uh, let, me, let me write it down. there so let me write down the stuff i talked about so form shape and then the thickness the thickness of said pattern you know because if you imagine right something like a flannel it's just printed on the flat surface so it wouldn't have much thickness right but something like say a braid on a sweater this is probably not how a braid looks like on a sweater, but let's see. I'm just gonna do like a normal braid. So obviously something like a braid is 3D, right? It's sticking out, it has thickness. So that's why it's important to remember the form and to think of these two things. You know, the shape and the thickness. And the shading is directly involved with the form. So yeah, I'll show you just how. <laughs> oh, found your guys' found your guys, my YouTube sub being weird. <laughs> I'm having trouble reading that. 
I guess are you saying you found our YouTube channel? You sub? Yeah, anyway. Welcome. All together. Welcome. <laughs> so, let's see. Yeah, so, these two, two things, I guess I'll just showcase it. Ooh, stream is lagging. I think it's just on your end. Because it's green for me. Everything's excellent on my end. Like, clip, clip, clip. Uh, okay, I just double checked. But thank you, thank you for telling me. Because sometimes, sometimes it is on my end. Thanks for letting me know. But yeah, I want to talk about flannel slash shape pattern. Yeah, so at some point, you know, in your drawing, you might want to draw some sort of pattern. And a good example to showcase this is the flannel sort of checker pattern and any sort of shape pattern. So for example, like, uh, like a bunch of diamonds, maybe hexagons, or maybe even a print, you know, a print on a t-shirt. This would work just well. So let's see. I'm gonna give you guys an example. I'm gonna do like the classic flannel. And then I'm gonna give it a nice swerve. Like that. And there. And there. So say for example this piece of fabric is making like this flag motion, right? So before you even begin, like adding your your flannel, <clears throat> you have to decide which to do first. So do you do the pattern first or shadow? So let's see. Yeah, so if it's not too complex, right, you should do the pattern first. So for example, like this, right, you can see that the the pattern, or like the the object itself isn't too complicated, so I would feel pretty confident to just put the pattern on like this. So, let me just do that. Ooh, what are we doing? We're doing fabric patterns, and right now, I want to showcase, I want to showcase flannel patterns. Yeah, and you can see that the way I'm drawing it, right, it's following the shape of the cloth. So that's super important. And that's what I mean by the first part, right? It's important to remember the shape of the object. Basically the surface of what you're drawing on. And then you could also add another multiply layer on top so that you could get this effect where you could see that the, uh, the parts where they're intersecting gets really, really dark. Because I'll show you what happens if you draw it on the same layer. It doesn't work because just because of the way layers work it interprets it as like the same thing but this one it's laid on top of each other which is why like when they intersect it makes that dark spot and actually i did this wrong Ooh. so let me let me just finish up this flannel pattern and i'll give you guys a tip here yeah, so the technique to drawing the flannel pattern is to follow the edge of the of the cloth, right? So notice that this and these two decided a lot on how the uh, how the stripes of the pattern go basically. So it's like that and it's like that. So this stripe is mostly following this stripe because it's closer and then this stripe should mostly be following this stripe or this uh, edge i should say down here so that's really important to keep track and then once you get to the middle right you kind of have to find like the even middle ground so i'll show like an example deep, deep. so it's kind of like the globe pattern you know so like if it's directly on the middle it's a straight line it's kind of like the in-between 
And then this curve, it's closer to the left. So it's following this curve. And then this, this line is mostly following the one on the right because it's closer to the right. So I did the same, same principle. And then, let's see. Let me do this better actually. And then it, the same thing goes for the vertical lines. So you can see that this one, I'm mostly following that side. And the technique is to not keep it consistent. It's kind of like slowly merging, or slowly, not merging, I should say, but like slowly following this shape as well. You have to do like the in-between. And there. Yeah, let me double check what chat is saying. Yeah, imagine to be drawing on the object instead of the canvas. Yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> but yeah, we have our pattern here. And I use the multiply layer. And then if you want to, you could also use a hard light layer or this. So I like to use the hard light layer. Excuse me. So to be honest, it's not really important what layer mode you use. But I like using hard light because one, it keeps the color really well compared to something like screen, right? Like you could use screen, like a layer mode, but I find that it makes it too, uh, too desaturated, too white. So I, I use a hard light instead. And then there. So yeah, you can see that it makes the middle brighter as well. There. And there. And just like that. There's like a quick pattern. And then... Yeah, so I, as I was talking about earlier, right? What should you draw first? The pattern or the shadow? So if it's something simple, like this one, right? You could just draw the pattern first. You know, it's not too complicated. So I'll show you what I mean. Basically with this one, the way I picture it, is I'll just put a shadow here where it dips, right? Pretty simple, nice and easy. Just like that. But say you have a complicated design. So like, there, let me, let me just put this aside. there so if you want like complicated folds right i'll give an example here deep deep there then maybe i'll increase this a little bit so this one was just a simple like flag swerve i would call it but maybe this one, I'll put like all the folds. Beep. Beep, beep, beep. And right there. Has like all these like weird, weird folds and patterns. Yeah, so if your shadow for cloth was something like this, right? And then you did this, you copy pasted it. And if you just put it on here, uh, this is wrong, right? So do not, do not do that because the pattern isn't reflecting what the shadow is describing. So a more accurate way to do this is this. You would follow the curve. And let me, let me copy the color so that it's accurate. Bloop. Or this is not, not it. There you go. So the more accurate thing to do would be to follow the shape, just like I mentioned earlier, right? Think of the shape. There. There. And there. <laughs> That's much true. Yeah, thank you so much for the support. Yeah, let me let me take a look at chat. Ooh, yeah. Let's talk about that. Pattern digital art brushes save time, but they never look natural. Yeah, exactly. So like, that's actually one of the things I learned 
doing digital is that digital isn't exactly magic, right? You still have to do the work. Like, yeah, it's true that brushes do, do help and they do make life a lot simpler. But in the end, uh, you could you could definitely tell. <laughs> so that's why like overusing brushes, if you don't know how to use them, is a uh, is not it, you know. Deep, deep. Deep. Yeah. So this one, even though I'm using digital, right, I still have to use knowledge of clothing folds, because as you can see here. The clothing folds won't exactly be uh, flat, I'd say. There and there. So this one is a more like, I imagine it as a more abrupt change in shape. So like, let me erase it. Just like that. So yeah, you can see like the difference, right? Between the two. So now I'll make another multiplier layer. And then I'll try my best to like, to showcase what I mean earlier, right? We're following the edge and getting the in-between. So like that. That. Yeah, so you can see that this one is following this curve right here. And then this one is following this fold. Right, it's very important. And then this one, it's kind of in-between. But it's closer to the to the right, so maybe I should change that a little. So yeah, it's sort of like the in-between, right? So that's why it's super important to not only think of the form, the shape, like I mentioned earlier. It's also important to ask yourself if you should do the pattern first or the shadow first. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, you did not miss, miss much of the stream. Yeah, it, it actually pretty much just started, more or less. But, yeah. So, this not only works for flannels, right? This also works for other things like, say, um, you want to do like a star shape. So maybe, I think I'll do one right here. Uh, I'm trying to think. Maybe I'll... I'll duplicate this actually. Air and copy. And I will put you here. Oh. I forgot to copy the. There we go. Yeah, so say you want to do a star or something. Uh, yeah, put there. Multiply. Put it on the... Oh yeah, that's too dark. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not multiply. Maybe I'll use <clears throat> hard light. There. Hmm. Or maybe like a gold heart. Deep. Deep. kind of like spread apart then maybe I'll use like my thing here well, let's see what is what is chat saying yeah exactly take the shadow into account so it wouldn't be flat like this to be honest it would kind of be let's see it'd be like this and then this <laughs> it'd be kind of malformed I guess, for lack of a better word. And, uh... Well, to be fair, the heart was kind of like elongated to begin with. So yeah, you can see that this technique is not exclusive to flannels, right? You could do any sort of pattern to it. So say like you wanted a star, maybe. There we go. Just like that. There. And now let's do like smiley face. Just like that. Yeah, that's it for flannel. 
and for shape patterns and let's see let me let me double check something again okay now i think it's time to do the one that everybody voted for you know the one that everybody wants to see i want to do an embroidery sort of pattern sort of texture to it and finally get to talk about the other parts of form which is the thickness yeah and let me just sort out this file so that you have a nice clean working file okay and yeah let's see where did i put this did i write this there and I'll just rename it to Flannel. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, okay. I wrote it on that, huh? So, bloop, bloop. Oh, man. <laughs> this, is, this is why you should search your, search your files. Don't be like me. Bloop. But I'm so glad that Clip Studio has um the operation tool because it basically just like points you to which layer it's on you click on it and then it's the layer you want and there there we go maybe not that small just enough space for me to slot slot this in bloop, bloop. <laughs> yeah it looks like a flag yeah, I mean, it is the simplest shape I could think of. Glad for notifications. Yeah! Well, I'm glad you're here. You didn't miss anything. <laughs> nothing major, nothing big. But, anyway. Uh, there. Embroidery. Embroidery and patches so this is the part where the shape really gets important you know because uh patches are 3d right they're not like the flannel or like a shirt print where it's just flat on the surface right it's mostly just uh this stuff is mostly worrying about how you how you uh apply it onto the surface but this one is more about the shading. So I'll do like, do like a heart. There. And there. So you already did it. Yeah, so the number one tip I could give for embroidery and pattern work like this is that I shaded the same as hair, actually. Because if you think of an embroidered or patchy texture it kind of has this repeating pattern like this right it's kind of like what's it called i don't know the sort of pattern but like it's a bunch of like threads i guess and like it's sewn up like this right so let me just erase that so and let me do like a little patch border around this heart. There. Yeah, and so the technique for this one is to start with low contrast and then work your way up to adding more contrast and shadows. So, do you like the heart? And the heart. Yeah, patches are 3D. Yes. Then, then, there. And I'm trying to think of, hmm, where do I start? Where do I start when explaining embroidery? Yeah, so, something like the edge, right? If you've ever seen patches, they're kind of rounded. So it's important to imply that, right? When you're doing, like, the patch texture like that. And I guess what we could talk about right now is the amount of detail, right? Because I feel like that's a common encounter that people might have, you know, like how much, 
How much details should I draw for a patch? Well, it's super important to decide that really early on. Just like with the flannel, where it's important to decide the shadow. I think for this one, decide how much of a focus it is, like really, really early on. So if it's just on a character, for example, and it's not really the main focus, what I suggest is just doing a really simple, simple patchwork design. You know, it's kind of like the way you shade hair. Because if you think of hair, right, the shading is usually like this. This, this is like the, uh, the simple way to shade that people like to do. So this implies that there's multiple threads, right? There's multiple threads of hair. And that's why I say that it's pretty similar that you should render patches because technically patches are also like a bunch of thread. So it'd be pretty, pretty useful to, uh, to shade it just like that. So right there. Yeah, and notice that the shadow I'm using isn't too dark, right? Because I do want to save the the darkest colors for last. Just like that. And then the thing I like to do afterwards, right? So I worked my big shadows. Now it's time to work on the small shadows that I sort of like to imply. There, there, and there, and then you could go, you could pretty much go back and forth if you'd like to. You could leave it like this if you wanted to, if you didn't want too much detail, but say you wanted more, yeah, maybe I'll copy paste it, and there, so maybe you could match the shadows actually, copy this color. Yeah, and it's really important that you sort of get the texture by also doing the the strokes, right? Kind of implying it also with your with your strokes of color. Just like that. And already, right, it's already looking pretty pretty textured, I'd say. And if you want to go the extra mile. Now you could go with like the darker colors that we save for last. And then what I like to do is I like to do swipes. Swipes at the edge. Just like that. And notice that the way I'm doing it, right? It's like this. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Kind of like how threads would go. Right? But you gotta be careful because it might look furry instead of instead of a clean clean thread so try your best to do the line once and not like this right Beep. There, there, there. let's see and traditional art colored pencils would be great yeah exactly i do love colored pencils Beep, deep, deep. and erase it so yeah if i was ever going to give one tip for drawing patches it's to start small with your shadows right don't don't start with the heart like this right say like a gold heart and then you start off with like a really dark shadow like this so that already kind of locks you out from uh from doing the finer details so try to work with low contrast so, low contrast is the way to go. And the nice thing about working like this, right? Because honestly, if it's like maybe this small on your canvas, you could honestly stop, right? You could already like feel the texture. Maybe you could add some light onto it. So maybe I'll do that. Deep. Deep, deep, deep. And I'll be really subtle with the light. Maybe make it more orange. And you can see that I'm still 
doing my best to uh, keep the patchwork right. And if you really want to be extra, you could also put some lighting. Just like that. So you could honestly call it here, but if you really wanted it to have more detail, because say it was like the main focus or something, you could then add the darker colors. So yeah, you'd add more detail. Like that. But you have to be careful whenever you're adding like the brightest and the darkest colors because they're very powerful, right? You wouldn't want to just overuse them. So in this case, this is a pretty dark color that I'm using. So yeah, be careful because it attracts a lot of attention. And if you overuse it, it becomes too cluttered and it becomes super hard to focus on one thing. Yeah. Did the stream start late? <laughs> yeah, uh, it did start late to be honest earlier, but but uh, don't worry. We're also going to end late. There. So yeah, you can see power by just adding slightly more darker colors. So maybe I'm going to add some like bright colors too. There. And, and the brush I'm using isn't really anything special. It's just a normal, your average Joe opacity brush, you know. It doesn't have blending, because I think blending kind of gets in the way sometimes. So I turned off blending for this brush. And for those of you who don't know, this is opacity, where the colors are just sort of transparent, right? But blending, it does this. It's, uh, it blends it, kind of like, uh, softly and like mixes the color and everything. But yeah, I think in this case it would sort of get in the way, is why I am not using it. Yeah. I <laughs> remember that happening before. Ooh. There. And I think I, I could also do it for like the edge here actually, so there, yeah, there you go, patchwork. And I'm trying to remember what time we were going for. What, what time did we start again? Let me, <laughs> let me double check. There. Hmm. Yeah, should be good. Yeah, maybe, uh, I'll just ask actually. Let me double check something here. Da, 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 da. Give me two seconds. Also, I could just read chat. So how are we doing so far? Dit, dit, dit. And let me back read actually what chat is saying. Yeah, <laughs> nothing will keep us down. Yeah, we do our best. Perseverance. Yeah, perseverance. Also, diligence. Because it kind of took the the thing that took the longest in fixing the stream was figuring out what the problem was. <laughs> and I did figure out what the problem was actually. It was a plugin that I had. So I think I'll just reinstall that plugin for OBS, and it kept crashing my OBS because uh, it wasn't uh, it wasn't really built in to OBS, and it kept crashing it instead. Yeah, so yeah, we have a nice patchwork texture here. Yeah, now comes the fun part. Oh wait, no. Actually, no. I forgot to talk about braided, actually. So another example of something that has a lot of thickness. A lot of, uh, dimension. Yeah, if you know what the problem is, you've already solved half the problem. So true. 
Yeah, because most of the time, it's harder when you don't know what the problem is, and then when you get to fix it, you're like, oh yeah. So simple. There. And there. So let me just do the braided. There. Braided. Or actually. Braided. So let me just draw like a really quick braid here. There. Now I think this one, out of all the examples, is the most 3D, right? Because, you know, even patches are fairly flat compared to braids at the very least. So imagine like a sweater or something like that. Fairly common, right? So you could decide where the light source is coming from, or you could just do like a general, like simple uh, shading. So, doop, doop. so I want to say that the light is coming from the left here. So I'll put most of the shadows on here and at this point it's sort of just like picturing the shape you know it's kind of like traditional uh shading at this point that i'm sure lots of you are already familiar with but i still want to go over in the context of uh of shading shading a piece of clothing and there. So I want to finish shading this first and then I'll explain. Because I find it easier sometimes to just do it first and then tell why later. Yeah, because if I had to imagine this, right, the way I imagine it is they're kind of like mountains. Like that. If you look at it from the side. So in this case, this, like the part on the right, would be in shadow, right? Just like that. Because the light simply isn't reaching it. And then there'd be like a little bit of a shadow here. Because if you think about it, right, this part at the bottom is slightly lower, so it wouldn't get light. And then the part on the left still wouldn't get shadow. Just like that. Ooh. Once you kind of make the pattern, is copying and pasting a good way to repeat it? Or is hand drawing better? That's a really good question, because you could do both. That's, uh, that's what I like to do. Because I find that leaving it a lot to the... to the computer, I guess? Like, it's only okay. It still needs like a, a human touch, I'd say. Because, say like you copy, copy paste a pattern, sometimes I do sort of touch it up, or just to, I use it as a base. So what's a good example, actually? Mm, i trying to think of a, like a good way to showcase that. Mm. Let me, let me make something real quick. So say like, you just wanted to do a star pattern. Keep doing a star pattern. There, like that. And then if you copy pasted it like this. There. And like that. Like, yeah, it could work, but sometimes, right? I do like to just touch it up myself, for example, if there is like a fold, just like the example from earlier. Doop, doop, doop. Oh, not like that. So if there is like a fold again from earlier, it's kind of hard to imply or to like use transform to imply it. So what I like to do is I lower the opacity, I copy paste it, 
So I make a duplicate and then I erase it. So that I know the position of the star. And then I like to redraw it myself. Just like that. This is like an example of me doing a bit of both, right? I copy pasted it, but then I have parts where I do need to touch it up. I uh I touch it up personally. There, so here's like a good example. So you can see that copy pasting is useful sometimes, but also at the same time, you gotta touch it up yourself. So yeah, very good, very good question. And let me merge. Yes, yes. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah, you could um you could transform it. To be honest, you could use your transformation tools, liquify. Just remember that the most important thing is that it looks good. <laughs> That's what I love about art. If it looks good, and it's accurate, then yeah, you did your job. Good job. Oh, and also, another thing that is shared with all of this, with all like the sort of patterns, is that they're all very low contrast because unless the material is super glowy, right? So imagine like reflective material, like... Uh, construction gear then fabric patterns would not be that bright right so for example if i made this like super where is it let me put the shadow if i made this super dark this is like uh, unless there's like an intense light then this is super high contrast i think too much and then say like you Added the lighting like this. It kind of makes it look metallic or like shiny in a way. So if that's what you're going for, you could definitely make a high contrast shading. But if you just want it to look like, you know, normal cloth made of like average material, then I highly recommend that you do a low contrast not too much uh not too much difference between the the lights and the shadow okay. and, uh... <laughs> yeah and it just takes time so yeah you have to you really have to take your time and uniquely understand yourself you know because i could tell you but you still have to put in the work you know you still have to figure it out for yourself. It's more just like telling you what to try out and then you try it out yourself and then you figure it out. That's the uh, that's the loop. Yeah, and I'm going to do like simple shadow over here. But yeah, I think these are all like the the pole the the poll topics that i was going to go over so hmm, i'm trying to think yeah hopefully that helps and just let me know if you guys have questions in chat but otherwise i'm just gonna do the main drawing so let's see okay yeah i want to do the main drawing it's the just chatting part so that we could Showcase everything that we learned here today. There. There. Yeah, so... Again, as a reminder, what won the poll actually was... Was the embroidery and patches. That's what people wanted to see. And so, let me... Let me close my notes here. Let's see... Doot, 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 doot. There we go. And close window.
Yeah, so I was thinking of drawing a character with like a jacket and just patches all over. Patches all over the jacket. Let me let me fix my hair. Give me a second. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, again, I wanted to thank everybody for being so patient when I was fixing the stuff up earlier. Yeah, that was super unexpected. I've never really had anything like that happen before with OBS. Dude. Yeah, I love those patch colored jackets too. So yeah, I was thinking actually, the the theme, I guess that I want to go with for the for the patches is an alien theme, just to match with like Halloween, I guess, because I didn't want to do just ghosts, you know, ghosts and creepy crawlies. I wanted to do aliens. And also, it's been it's been a while since I drew characters actually on stream. It's mostly just been flowers and and all that inanimate objects. And let's see. And of course, you gotta think of the pose first. And. Because I was thinking that I won't do like the full body. I'll just do like enough to showcase the, the clothing. And I want to go with like simple pose just so I can. Just so I can fully focus on the patchwork for later. Let's see. That yeah, should be good. Alright, now this is kind of a boring pose, so maybe I'll put this aside. Uh, do, do. And. Let me copy paste it, because I kind of like the head. Do, do, do. Yeah, this is how I like to sketch. I like to just do it really quickly. And so I could try it as much as I can. You know, not just go with like the first first thing that comes to mind. Yeah, I usually like to do a more dynamic pose than just standing. And like front view. I was thinking of like fashion. Fashion pose. Ooh, how long have I been drawing? Good question. I've been drawing since I was a, a lad. When I was like seven, I guess. So a really, really long time. But yeah, I've probably mentioned the story before, but yeah, it all started with Pokemon. So, so I had Pokemon cards. I really loved the the drawings on them, and that was it. I I really loved, but I didn't like how small they were. Basically, the the Pokemon cards. So I drew them bigger on poster paper. Made my own poster. <laughs> the pose is boring for you, yet dynamic and hard for us beginners. Yeah, you'll you'll get there. The power scaling, right? <laughs> there. Hmm. I think the shoulder is a little bit inaccurate. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it's iterative, right? Iterative. 
here. And then, oh my gosh, it's been so long. But yeah, what I find actually is that learning about art, it's not really about how early you start. It's about how much you absorb information is what I find is more important. Because when I was younger, right, I was super excited to try things. And I feel like I did learn a lot back then compared to when I was kind of nervous about like, oh, like I should study anatomy. I should study this and that. I find that it's better to, uh, I find it's better to just do, you know, and like try than to spend lots of time worrying about what you should be studying. Okay, let's see. Still good. Yeah. Do, do, do. Yeah, because I think when I was younger, that was when I tried the most. You know, like, I was unafraid of making mistakes. When ironically, overthinking it can really can really hinder your drawing. Hmm. Something about the shoulder feels wrong, actually. Let me fix it. Oh my god, I think the face is a little bit too too much to the side. So there you go, transform. Maybe change the expression too. So let me fix this up. Oh, let's see what J4 said. I think I've gotten burnt out from that tons of times until now. And I'm still not enjoying it as much because of the perfectionist mindset. It's a really, it's really bizarre for an artist. Just anyone with that mindset. Now, hello, welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the stream. Oh my god, actually. What if I gave her... Beanie? Yeah, I'll give her a beanie. Dude. Feels a little better. Maybe... Here. And then... Yeah, so about burnout, actually, I... We are working on a video for that, so look forward to it. Yeah, working on... Well, not really burnout, but more like art block. Haven't caught live in months. Oh, perfect. I'm glad, uh, glad you caught this one. Hmm. I was thinking of giving jacket big big jacket just like that. Yeah, sketching in pen has really helped me with line confidence and being more chill with art. Yeah. And I always like to tell people that like you know, studying is like making your comfort zone bigger, you know, because all the artists you look up to, that's just their like comfort zone, really. That's what they're really good at. Ooh, it's not out yet. We're still working on it. So yeah, the it'll drop. So stay tuned. For the uh, notifications. Mm. Yeah, so maybe I think the body. Yeah, since we have oh, too much time, I'll just use liquify. There we go. Mm. 
there. And there. It's an hour. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> it's all good. You're here now. There. Yeah, I want to do the beanie because it probably there's like free patch space on here. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I said I wanted to do like an alien. So maybe I'll just make her an alien. Good. There. Oh, and I think her head. Maybe it's a little bit too, too much to the left. Maybe that's why, or too much to yeah her left. That's right. Let me erase that. Hmm. Let's make that. That. Yeah, definitely save those for later. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for sending those. Yeah, glad the stream finally worked. Oh, yeah, I just saw that. Thank you. <laughs> Excited to work. Maybe I shouldn't have drawn these first, these antennas. There. Let me fix the shape of the thingy. Yeah, and I was super nervous when the stream stopped working because I've never had that problem before. So yeah, I'm so glad. So glad I'm here now. And it worked. And let me just uh, focus a little bit on drawing. The face. Yeah, so nerve-wracking. <laughs> Yay for she working. <laughs> yes, indeed. It feels better, the face. But it still feels a little bit wrong. I think her neck... ...is a little bit too... ...too long. Let's see. Oh, thank you. Yeah, but I shouldn't be sketching at this point, to be honest. I want to get to, like, the patches and all that. Yeah, close enough. And then... I want to prepare... Like, the... The real estate, I guess. The space for the patches. Yeah, I want... Big baggy... And then fingers. Yeah, also this way, you know, we don't have to focus too much on like the what's it called? Not focus too much on the arms or drawing the hands. Just all about drawing the patches. There you go. I think the neck should be a tiny bit in or the head a bit out more. I'm not sure. We'll see. I think it looks fine now. And then I'll do like patches here. So I was thinking of like. So, like I mentioned earlier, alien. I want to do alien theme. So maybe I'll do like the classic. Doop, doop, doop. 
then their alien did 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 just sketch this real big <laughs> big jackets prime real estate Ooh, what percentage slash ratio of study versus practice do you recommend very good question i i love drawing for fun <laughs> i love drawing whenever i want and usually i study when i'm like huh i don't know how to draw this so i'm gonna go study now <laughs> so i usually it's different from person to person right so if you have a goal let's say of like you know working on the next spider verse or something then you should you should study you know you should take the time to study and like focus on what they're looking on uh looking for i mean but you know if you if you just want to learn how to draw something then i really recommend just studying whenever you need to study so for example you don't know how to draw fabric or <laughs> or patches so you just watch the stream and then you try it out for a couple hours couple days even if you really want to perfect it and then you you just draw it and then you try again keep trying again and again until so let me hey put something ufo there we go i just want to spam like a bunch of <laughs> pretty much just just some random patches that are space related I always struggle right yeah baggy clothes 100 <laughs> percent yeah so i guess don't worry too much about keeping like a scientific ratio yeah to answer your question but uh yeah study when you need to know something is <laughs> is like the simplest answer but then study based on what your goals are so i'm trying to think of like an example yeah so an example i guess of when i major i guess did a like quote unquote major study really wanted to focus on it was when i wanted more experience drawing anatomy better i wanted to learn about muscles right so yeah that time i learned everything i could about muscles but i didn't learn each and every single muscle right i only learned what i needed to learn so i took the time to sort of research only things i needed to know so yeah that was a worthwhile experience and i think it's been like a few months since i did that but uh yeah and so maybe i'll do like do some there there I think the hands are would be a little better. So let me let me try to check. Their anatomy check. Just so just so I know. Okay. There we go. So I like to do this sometimes too. Just like oh no, I was drawing on the wrong layer. Oh my god. I was not drawing on a new layer. There. And lower the opacity a little bit. Did should be good. Oh, wrong thing. So let's see. How's my computer? Just check Discord. Uh, thank you. Uh, it's fine. It was, uh, is resolved. 
that you guys need to know. There we go. Should be good. Okay, let me tilt the pose a little bit. And what time is it? <laughs> yeah, look at this awesome thing. Yeah, that's why uh, make sure you're drawing on the right, right layer. And I was thinking of adding some, some patches. Or how do I do this actually? Because I have this idea where there and maybe like this. And I basically just want to showcase. To showcase the patchwork to not be the diamonds. Deep, deep, deep. And there we go. Yeah, close enough. Does line art sketch layer? Let me introduce myself. Hmm. <laughs> but here's the neat part about my art is that my line art is also my sketch. I can delete that. Paint a wrong layer. <laughs> I shall never know. Uh, I think for you, it's just like, oh, you did something wrong on your one layer. And then, yeah, it's a struggle. But yeah, I honestly do kind of miss traditional. It's been like years. <laughs> it's been years, honestly, since I drew. Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna clean up my sketch so that it just, uh, just work on the same layer. Beep. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, so right now I'm just trying to do the patchwork now. Just darkening it. And I want to make sure that there's like a varied amount of patches. <laughs> uh, yeah, have no undo. But yeah, honestly, the thing about traditional, though, is that lots of people try hard to make it look like traditional, right? You have brushes to, to try and do that, and like... Yeah, it's trying to match the imperfection, because I find that digital, it's so easy to make something perfect, <laughs> in a way. Because like, yeah, it has its own appeal, right? You've probably seen those artworks that are super super highly rendered and take a lot of time but i like the imperfections of I like the imperfections of uh traditional deep, deep. No. there and just like with earlier, following the shape better than it's this. Then I'll do a better job of creating this and this. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm always so surprised at how much people draw with their fingers. I think you guys should invest in the stylus at the very least. Because, uh, it ain't it, man. It ain't it. Don't, don't draw with your fingies. I mean, I used to do that. I used to do that, but only for like a short while because you, uh, it's not very, what's it called? It's not sustainable <laughs> to draw with your fingers. Yeah, it's death. Oh, yeah. 
And it's worth it, you know, because like... <laughs> you're gonna get used to it anyway, you know, so... Just spend that extra money... To, uh, to get a good tablet. Because I remember my first tablet was a screenless tablet. Use a mouse, that's what I used to do. As well. I've walked that path. Oh, actually, I got it. How do I draw the peace sign? Let's see, let me look that up. Peace sign. Oh, yeah, I want to do the cool S as well. <laughs> so, so let me do this. Yeah. Yeah, both have important place in the art community. What? Yeah. Because, like... Even though I use digital, I still learn techniques from from traditional that I use. Wait, no. There you go. I'm trying to remember how to do the cool S. There you go. Cool S. As a patch. There you go. And there. There. Yeah. Use the mouse. Exactly. Because like even though I think the biggest I guess hurdle that people encounter for drawing with a tablet without a screen is you know not looking at what you're drawing. You have to look at the, the monitor. But yeah, actually some people prefer drawing with a screenless tablet, actually, because it's good for your neck. <laughs> Instead of having to hunch down, you could like just face 90 degrees. Ooh. Got, got your gecko cashew some centarium wood. Now he's climbing over. Ooh, cute. Beep, beep. There you go. Maybe I'll make it. Make it bigger. And... Yeah, I won't put too much detail onto it, because I will get to coloring. It's so good, I feel like you missed so many struggles and experience. What do you mean? What do you mean you missed out on the struggle? Do you mean like... Drawing with a screenless tablet str struggle? Because I guess it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, as long as you can see, screenless is suitable. Yeah. For real. Yeah, because I do admit, sometimes it is more comfortable to draw with a screenless tablet. Less strain on your neck. Doot doot. One major benefit to screen this tablet is that your vision isn't blocked by your hand. Yeah. That's funny actually. <laughs> okay. Now that you mentioned it, I can't unsee it. <laughs> I'm staring at my hand now. You're right. It's kind of like how um, you can always see your nose, actually, but your brain just ignores it. And now you're totally right. My hand is blocking, like, so much of the, the screen. Oh my gosh. Gonna take a little bit to unsee that again. <laughs> oh, you need Tablet Club for sensitivity? I <laughs> I use the tablet club so that I don't sweat on my tablet. Cause like my hand is uh gets sweat. And kinda makes it icky. <laughs> so cursed. 
Shame for the nose for it. Oh yeah, you're welcome. Eye for an eye. Eye for an eye, nose for nose. <laughs> Game rain? Maybe, maybe it's not ignoring it because you're thinking about it. So don't think about it. So yeah, let's talk about something else. Ask me anything. Could be related to the stream, could be unrelated. Ask anything. Within reason. <laughs> don't be... Be, be appropriate with your questions. Ooh, favorite frog. Gamabunta from Naruto. <laughs> He's my favorite frog. Or Fukasaku from Naruto. <laughs> yeah, those are like the, the frogs that Naruto summons. Deep, deep. Let me... But that's a good question. Uh, I'll try to answer for real. A glass frog? No, I have not. Let me look that up. Yeah, Naruto's wallet? Yeah. Uh, glass frog. Ooh. They're pretty cute. Let's see. Nope. Yeah. Nature's wild. Like, do you guys know about- I think it's the barrel eye fish? I think that's what it is. It's the one where, like, it looked like this. It looks like this. And then I... So, like, it makes you think that these are the eyes right here. But actually, the eyeballs are, like, in this glass dome. And then you can see, like, its eye, like, attached to, like, the brain. It's pretty crazy. I forgot what they're called. That's what the, the glass frog reminds me of. Hmm, maybe. Yeah, I'll give her non-elf ears. Yeah. Some wild animals. I <laughs> have Naruto's wallet. Cute. But like, can you give it back to him? <laughs> he he kind of needs that. <laughs> Why do you have Naruto's wallet? How could you rob him? Ooh. Fun fact, the species of glass frog inspired Kermit, Kermit the Frog. Oh my, <laughs> my ramen. <laughs> yeah, I love, love Kermit's voice. I love trying to do it. Hey guys, he's Kermit. Yes, please. <laughs> now I'm drawing for Wing Canvas. Good with my good friend, uh, Iggy. From Wing Canvas, he loves to draw. Yeah, thank you, Kermit. Uh, let me fix that a little bit. And did. <laughs> Kermit entered the live stream. Uh, he kind of he he left. <laughs> bye guys. There you go. He said bye. I think that's enough of the Kermit voice. There you go. And Eggy <laughs> the frog was saying some wholesome things about. You. Oh yeah, I know. I was here. I was there. I just gave him the mic, actually. Yeah, we go way back. Doot, doot, doot. Yeah, I hope Kermit 
was nice to you guys too. Hard <laughs> to summon curve it. Oh yeah, that would go so hard. And yeah, I think this is this should be ready for coloring actually. Man oh man. And oh my gosh, I think I gotta do it the old fashioned way actually. The old fashioned way of just uh putting in the backdrop. Maybe I'll make this multiply. Yeah. Now comes the fun part. What time is it? Okay, we have a good amount of time to shade and color. <laughs> Forget to breathe. <laughs> I almost forgot. Thank you. What's my favorite color? Favorite color is blue. I'd say blue and pink. And yeah, I love using it in my drawings. Are you just doing a draw and chat with me, Kanshi? Yeah, pretty much. I like to I like to do this after we do the lesson. Just because like Yeah, it's just more fun this way, you know. Get to connect with the audience and uh just chat. Because if you want to learn about the fabric stuff, right, you can just ask me and like rewatch the stream. And this one is more practical. Yeah, I'm just incorporating the lesson now, yeah. Because like unless you're just drawing patches, right? Uh, not really. This is how usually I would do it, I'd say. Just use the patches. Yeah, close enough. Yes. But more or less, yeah, it's more chatting and drawing more than anything. Uh, let's see. Skin. Do her skin. There. Yeah, this is my super secret. Uh, oh, maybe I'll do like black and green. Classic. Classic alien. Oh yeah, it's definitely nice, and I don't see it as complaining, worry not. There. There you go. And then... Yeah, I'm not sure yet what to color the outfit, but I do know it won't be like completely black. And I'll fix the head band actually because I think it's too wide. Well that thing you do to fill to fill in your character. Does Metabang have a thing like that? Uh what do you mean fill the character? Do you mean like this? This gray one? Yeah let me know Starburst if that's what you mean. Cause I'm not really doing anything unique right now. I literally just like traced it over and like filled it with the of the bucket tool, pretty much. Oh. Doot, doot, doot. Let's see. What's that? Yeah, I just manually traced it. Oh, don't forget to blink. Oh, thank you. I was wondering why, like, everything was... I was like, dark? I can see it a little bit. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> yeah, I read your comment with my eyes closed. Yeah. I'm also glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. There. And I'm gonna add in the green later. And maybe green. Yeah, also, I don't get to use green very often. Uh, 
there. Let me just block in the colors. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean though. So it's a good question. Good that you asked. Doot, doot, doot. And then um, maybe I'm trying to think if I should add some orange or something. But since we're kind of running low on time, I'll try to. I'll try to finish. Oh. Try to finish uh, blocking out my colors here in a little bit. Okay, maybe I'll do that after. There you go. Yeah, maybe not that much, but yeah, I want yellow. It's a nice contrast to like the green. Uh, what time is it? Yeah, for your lines are strong enough, you could use your selection tool. Yeah, exactly. That's what I meant earlier when I was like, I'll do it the old fashioned way because my lines are, they were not strong enough for that. On the hair. Doot, doot, doot. Actually, hmm. I'll just do. I'll just do blue. I'll just give her normal shaded hair. No glowy hair. And. Alright, I forgot to do this. Oh, wait, no, no. I need to color pick this. And there. Yeah, thank you. I said I need to be live. I always voided my background. Use the magic wand. Yeah. That also works, yeah. Like, I do, I do that when my line art is clean. But in this case, my line art is not... So. so yeah, usually okay. I like to clean up after. And I think, hmm, maybe I'll merge it all now. I'm trying to think. What else I should do? Yeah, the ears actually. Doot, doot. Doot, doot. Yeah. I'll just. Oh, right. I need to color the line art. I want to color the line art. You don't need to, but. I just like to. Maybe not that. Uh, blue? <laughs> okay, no. Maybe red. There. I always like the liner, the warmer line art. Yeah, and let's see. Yeah. There you go. And let me clean up the face a little. Doot, doot. Doot, doot. Yeah, and. You can tell, I've mostly calmed down from <laughs> from earlier. I mean, I should have been. It's been like hours, but... <laughs> yeah, never forgetty. Actually... A bit too dark. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll just use my airbrush. And then light. And yeah, this is also why I also can't wait to merge together because now I could just clean up way easier. 
in there. And I fix. <laughs> I usually don't use the what's it called? Liquify tool this much. But since we're kinda stretched on time, I would just use it. And oh my gosh, I totally forgot to uh do the colors for the patches. Oh well. Oh, I have an idea actually, so... Hmm... Yeah, I think I'll undo everything I did. <laughs> there you go. Oh, let's see. There we go, this should be good. And then, I paste it. There. So I forgot to color in the patches. Ooh, have I talked about drawing cotton fabric? No, I didn't, uh, I didn't include that because usually I like to follow the, the comments that are, that are left on the poll. So if you guys have suggestions on like that one, the cotton fabric, yeah, let me know, let me know in the chat, let me know, or not in the chat, sorry, let me know in the, the comment section. Because, yeah, I think if it's on chat, and if it's a big topic, it's usually too late. So, yeah. Doot, doot. Yeah, I kind of restarted because I forgot to color the patch. But don't worry, I have a big brain plan. Yeah. And right here. Yeah. Did it. What Kevin said. Did 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 did. Did. Then cool S will be white and gold. There you go. Dip, dip. And then. And then what else? Yeah, I'll make this orange. <laughs> yeah, ready for all. Yeah. But. Funnily enough, autumn is gonna end soon. Winter is coming. Doop, 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 and then black. Ooh, I don't know what to say. Yes. Me we'll see. We could probably talk about it in another topic. Yeah, perfect. This is a. Uh, this is better. So now, now I merge it together. Oh, forgot to merge this as well. But then watch this. I just, uh, I just erase it. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. So this is why it's important to keep copies of your, of your artwork. It comes to working like that. Because I think it would have been a pain to, uh, to just what's it called to draw over it with the line art like that hmm. and then now i'm gonna focus on the sketch <laughs> you, you bake nice <laughs> this guy bakes Ooh. Did, did, did. So now I'm gonna do stuff we talked about earlier. And since this one is kind of medium sized, right? I won't go too deep into detailing it. I think uh, it should be good. There. Did, did, did. 
So I'll only keep it like this. Like the little hatch marks. I feel like this is the fun part. There. There. And then I add the darker side. Just like we talked about earlier. Save the darkest colors for last. And let's see actually. I want to check something again. Let me open it a bit. And then I do the same thing before the border of this. So it's just like here. I actually like do something better. Is to do it vertically instead of the usual horizontal. But yeah, and also it's important to zoom out actually because, <laughs> because you gotta remember that we're looking at this drawing as a whole. Yeah, which is also why I make sure to zoom out and not be too close. And let's see. I'm going to add the border. Actually. Yeah, time is so quick. Oh my gosh, we only have a few minutes left. 20 minutes. Sag. There, there. And like that, we have the symbol and then border. And also, this is another thing I like to do. I like to just use the colors that are already on the drawing. So I don't... I don't uh, make new ones. Take new ones from the color wheel. There. <laughs> oh, have merch. Uh, it's funny. No, we don't. But we do have art classes. Let's see. Yeah, because... I don't know. We're not really focusing on merch. Just mostly on... Teaching, you know? <laughs> Perhaps. Yeah, I always found that funny, actually. Now that, I, now that you mention it. Because I was like, that's a little bit weird. You know, having merch for an art school. But... Colleges do it all the time. <laughs> they have, like, merch all the time. Pretty funny. Merchandise. Yeah, you know the the thing I do. Uh, oh, let's see. <laughs> Alien girl's jacket for me to merch. I'd be all over that. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to say that I've always been like shy. You know, like. <laughs> I do remember the first stream that I did for Wing Canvas. I was pretty shy, like you could tell. It was the armor stream. And I think the hardest thing to get over was the fact that you don't see the audience. You know, you just gotta pretend like they're there, even though you don't see them. Well, you guys are here, but like, you know, you don't see it, but you do feel it, you know? Yeah, I think streaming has been like really great. It's been really fun. There. And then S, S. Yeah. Try anything new is always tough. Ooh, did I miss something? Best getting out of your comfort zone is the key to growing as a person. Yeah.
<laughs> oh, it's I. Just in your head. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Or I, th I was looking for like a different comment. I thought you were talking to like somebody else. Yeah, just talking about you for real. But I have always wanted to try it. We are. <laughs> yeah, you need to let go. It wasn't your fault. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it sounds like a really bad fan theory. You know, that fan theory that you always see. What if it was all a dream? Fan theory. <laughs> Conjure. <laughs> Word. Oh yeah, you guys all made up, apparently. Yeah, I'm gonna... Make sure these patches a little bit more. Did, did, did. And did, did. what time? Okay. Making good time. And then add a little bit of texture. So yeah, you could see that. I am doing my best to add that little, little bit of strokes on to the, onto the, uh, the patches to really make it, to get that feel, basically. Just like that. <laughs> this is play. Yeah. So you're saying that I panic for nothing. And I was, uh, I'm streaming for an imaginary audience right now. Doot, doot, doot. There. Yeah, look at that. It's coming along well. And then... Yeah, that's why it's important. And let me texture this as well, actually. Doot, doot. <laughs> wake up oh no no please i don't want to wake up yeah is this this is like the the, <laughs> the horror theme wing canvas stream it's like a normal stream and i'm like yeah hey guys you know starts off normal and then it becomes like a creepy pasta <laughs> sounds really funny The wing canvas creepy pasta. There you go. Man, it's too tired. <laughs> nah. I'm not tired. I could do this all day. Ooh, let's see. Yeah. If something is a UFO, then it is identified as a UFO, meaning it is not unidentified. Meaning it is not a UFO. Well, I think you're only focusing on the first part of UFO, right? It has to be a flying object, right? An un unidentified flying object. So, technically you're right, it does get identified, but we don't know what kind of flying object it is, right? So technically, it's still unidentified. And don't they have like a new nickname or something? <laughs> so yeah, that's my... That's my theory. My game theory. Wait, yo, did you guys see that alien though? The paper mache alien. <laughs> Apparently, that one was pretty funny. Like, what is that? That is not an alien. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen that photo of, like, the supposed alien corpse that was spreading around a while back. It's the one where it was, like, uh, 
it looked like this. It's like, and then he's like lying on like, <laughs> like lying on cloth. I'm not sure if it's the Mexican one, but <laughs> this is pretty funny. Oh, what? Did I merge? Oh my gosh, I merged everything. I merged everything that I was- oh my gosh. Huh? When did I merge this? Okay. What? Hey yeah, guys, I think... I've been, uh... I've been goofing a lot. Goofing and yaffing. Oh my gosh, did I merge everything? Well, at least I still have my notes, actually, right here. So I think that's what's important, <laughs> but... What the heck? I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, in the grand scheme, it doesn't really matter. Because, like, technically, if did this if this did happen in, like, a drawing I did... I'd just, like, clean it up. <laughs> but, yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm tired, guys, oh my gosh. Uh, let's do a stretch because I only have a few minutes left also keep pressing the shortcut no what I did was like there's merge visible layers and I merged all the visible layers so which is not my intent impossible so it's not my intent Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that really took a lot out of me as like, when I was trying to troubleshoot everything. Oh man. So, this drawing in a different universe could have been way better. And I would not have goofed and gaffed. Yeah, there you go. And then the eye of the alien. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I I totally meant this. I was just trying to psych you guys out. But it's okay. Everything still works out. Because as you can see, it's still okay. This drawing, just okay. Instead of. My seal of approval, grade A. I really like this drawing. There. Yeah, and I actually was supposed to texture this as well. This green. So maybe I could actually. We have few minutes, okay. And yeah, maybe I'll just do like... Uh, what's... What's a good... <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll just use the heart actually. That I textured earlier. See, this is... There you go. I'll... Copy... Copy you. And then I'll paste it. And then, oh, did the delete? Nope. And I'll put this on here. Embroidered. It's embroidered onto here. And then maybe to give the illusion that it's different, I'll just like flip it. So yeah, I guess this answers Star versus question earlier. Oh, let's see. What if I fail again? Oh no. The pants is pattern. Oh yeah. Oh no, the pants pattern you were looking forward to it, J4? Aw, oh, I'm sorry. Hmm, cause like, I only have like a few minutes left. But this one, I promise, is, is just as good. There you go. There you go. 
because I have an idea for it. You gotta improvise, you gotta adapt, you gotta overcome for this one. And then I change it, change it to green. Well, maybe more blue green. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> yes, totally doing that thing. Oh, if I accidentally merge in the notice, save the image. Yeah, I give up and cry. Yeah. I know. Usually for me, like, merging everything isn't a problem. Just because of the way I work. Yeah, that, that could have been a big disaster, is what I was like saying. Oh my gosh. And... Oh, that's why, because I'm drawing on different layer. And this one. Oh. Copy this layer. And then I'll add like some shadow to make it look more realistic. There. And there. And I feel like it is different though. Like if you're doing like the traditional way where I guess the or like not the traditional way, but like most common way, I guess. Just to like separate everything have different layers. I think you would notice it immediately, unlike I did. <laughs> because, uh, yeah. That's a big, that's a big one. And... There. So yeah, I I really like the the patchy texture. Actually, I would add more lighting, but I think we only have one minute. <laughs> Maybe I'll take a little bit more time. Maybe like five more minutes, and then I'll probably wrap up here, and then just for show, I'll have this on the side. Look at that, it works nicely actually. Nice, uh, nice composition. There we go, because I think I'm just gonna work on cleaning this drawing now. Does this have a background? Let's see. Ah, oh, because I didn't pick. Okay, I picked the wrong color. Yeah, over time. Yeah. And also, thank you again. Thank you again, everyone, for being so patient. And yeah, honestly, <laughs> this could have been better, this drawing. If only I didn't have like that energy expended. Yeah, streaming, streaming takes a lot of like energy, I mean. So like, yeah, maybe next time, don't worry, this isn't the last stream anyway. Yeah, it took, took out some of my energy, but don't worry, in the end, I still had fun. And I hope you guys had fun too. There. Bail. Yeah. I'm just thinking about what could have been. This could have been so much better. Yeah. It's been two hours, yeah. Yeah, and also, like... <laughs> I've been trying my best to practice talking on stream better. Because, like... That is a skill, even though I've been streaming for a long time. I, uh... I don't know, I could, I could get better. I'd say. Because I feel like it's so important to also... You know, talk to you guys. Two hours is not long enough. <laughs> Two weeks streams? I don't know about that one. We'll see. 
I want to, but sadly, life, life, got, we got time constraints and all that. But already, honestly, these two hours is already spoiling me. Like, uh, I used to have one hour, 30 minutes, and it was so hard to even interact with people with two hours and, or with one hour, 30 minutes back then. Kind of hard to compress a lesson and a uh, talk to everyone thing. Alright, I forgot to texture this a little bit. Yeah. If you ever done that again. <laughs> yeah. Does it go a long way. Yeah, so you could see, I guess to sum up, while I'm cleaning up this drawing, right? It's all about just like focusing on the contrast. Like when you're shading. So you can see now that I have the the really light shadows ready. That's when I start adding like the darker shadows, just like this. And yeah, I would say that there's no shortcut <laughs> to doing any fabric pattern. You will have to do it manually. But that doesn't mean like it's a bad thing, you know, like you could still use your tools at your disposal to really make it simpler, you know. So like that. And I think I can texture the pants better. <laughs> yeah, it gives X word. Yeah, Jesse now uh, Jesse is super used to just talking with chat. Because to be honest, I'm kinda shy with like even though I'm talking a lot right now, I'm not really sure about what to talk about because do you guys care? <laughs> you know, sometimes I'm like, do you guys care about it? If I ramble about it? So I tend to do like like simple topics. <laughs> but yeah. But I do, uh, I do intend to be less shy, just like, just talk, just speak my mind, because it is more fun that way anyway. Yeah, it was five more minutes, four minutes ago, so I'll take one more minute and I'll probably wrap up, for real, for real, because this is the best I can do in the time. Time given to me graciously. Yeah. And I really like how everything turned out. And this one, I'll give... More texture. Just like that. And... Doot doot. If you don't know what to do, just start rapping. Oh no, I think I think that'll be the opposite. I think you guys will be silent after I start rapping, man. Ain't no way I'm rapping on stream. And, and I think after I do the shading, yeah, this is the best I could do. There you go. So, okay, wait, <laughs> maybe, maybe clean this up, clean up the face a little bit and make sure, uh, okay, she's all right. I think the eye, this one, the last one, for real, for real, because her eye is not, not there. There you go. And there you go, alien girl. Yeah, I think this is, <laughs> this is the best I could do. And again, thanks guys for being so patient and waiting for the stream. I hope you guys had a lot of fun and learned a lot about, you know, fabric patterns and learned a lot about like the simple tips, simple tricks to uh, make it easier for yourself. But uh, what else? Yeah, remember that we're not just a YouTube channel. We're also an art school, so... I teach uh, an cartooning and anime, 
right? So if you want to have classes with me, you know, have your art be seen and I can give you feedback. You could uh, go on with Canvas, you know. And next week, yo, look forward to next week. It's a special stream. It's going to be me and Jesse. So it's a collab stream. We're going to be redrawing some OCs, Halloween edition. So I'm really excited for that. And I really hope that no technical difficulties happen. Then, not am stretching. But other than that, thank you again. Thanks a million for all the support, all the watchers, and yeah, stay tuned for next week. Yeah, bye everyone. Bye bye.